all right all right all right this is intuitive empress coming to you with another general read this message is going to be a karmic and twin flame message thank you to all of my subscribers you have constantly been amazing me because you have been so active on my channel youtube has allowed me to open up memberships and provide you with other perks you will get member only videos you will get um, access to bonus reads and you will get access to readings that are at you primary access which not primary access um premier access um before everyone else does to certain readings to those of you who are new to the channel please like comment share and subscribe if you like what you see this is a general reading so it may not resonate for everyone i'm literally reading for potentially millions of people in the world and so some may resonate some of the reading may resonate with you take what resonates if it doesn't resonate with you let it fly and there are other readers who may have something that resonates for you all right so we're going to get down to the reading and also I would also like to say that if you want a personal reading, you can go to the link that's in the description. That is the only way you will get a personal reading from me. I have to preference this because as I grow in membership, I started getting uh, spammed and you may um, get spammed. I will never email you and let you know I have a personal reading for you. Personal readings are by request of you. Um, so you can only get a personal reading through the link that I provide. And if you wish to donate to the channel, please do so. The cash app will be in the description. The information will be in the description. It will be greatly appreciated because it does help me get content out to you. Please also like the video because it helps me and my stats um, and helps me to get content out to you sooner. All right. With that being said. I have shuffled this deck a whole lot while I talk to you, so let's get to it. And so we have religious factors, and it says your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So what I have is that for some of you, your beliefs may differ. You may be interested in someone who is of a different religious background. Okay, I'm going to take it. Those flew right out. So it says very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So something is coming to you in the area of love. It says new love is coming. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings or will stir your romantic feelings. And it says finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And we have wedding. This situation involves marriage. Okay. So what I'm feeling from this is that you've been going through a lot in your relationship, your current relationship, or in your past relationship. It may have had to do with religious factors, but that relationship ended, and very soon a new love is coming. Also, your past relationship could have involved your financial situation, and I'm getting that the new person coming in may help your financial situation. And the new situation has the possibility of ending up in marriage. And it says, it is safe to love 
open your heart to give and receive the highest energy at all of all. Some of you are feeling a little jaded from your past experience, which we are going to dig a little bit deeper into with some karmic messages. And yes, I'm starting out with that because for some of you, you're still with your person and there are some things going on. They could be seeing someone else. I believe that they are seeing someone else. And mm, so we're going to shuffle. This flew out while I was shuffling. All right. I'm really not getting this as a thing of separation and a person coming back, but we will see. Because new love can be a rekindling of a relationship and starting a relationship anew. Holy Spirit. Oh, there we go. So we have sweet relationship. Dirty spirits. Multiple karmics involved. Chosen one. So what I get from this is that the relationship started out as a sweet relationship, but some dirty spirits came along into the relationship because your person got involved or was already involved with multiple karmics when they were with you. Um, they Again, they could have already been involved with them when they met you and just continued on the back and forth cycle. And you're going through the things that you're going through because you are chosen from the divine and you had to learn some lessons. Again, we have spirituality. So we have religious factors, spirituality. You are coming into a new level of understanding of your spiritual gifts. All right. And it says... I've done magic on a divine female, okay? Divine feminine. So this is the karmic speaking saying that they've done magic on a divine female. Even though it says female, we know that energies can be reversed. So if you are a male watching this, which I do have male viewers, someone tried to do magic on you because they have tox toxic energy. All right, let's just get one more card. There we go. The person you could be dealing with could be a blue collar worker or the karmic could be a blue collar worker. Take it as it resonates. On the bottom of the deck, it says high calling. So you have a high calling. And it goes with that. You're chosen, okay? You have a high level of spirituality, but you had to deal with a toxic energy and dirty spirits because whoever you were dealing with, unbeknownst to you, or you may have discovered this, and this is why you're not together, is that this person was dealing with multiple karmics. So you could have had someone who was in and out or their attitude could have been crazy, but there was witchcraft or magic done against you because of this high calling the person is was working under a spirit that was dirty and so i don't even think it was a thing that they wanted your person per se but the spirit that this person was influenced under wanted to stop your purpose okay and maybe even your person's purpose and they fell for it. Okay. So what I would say is seek the divine, cleanse your spirit, 
send back any magic or spells that was against you and choose to move forward if you would like to i mean this person has multiple karmics so i'm not going to even say oh they slipped up because if they slipped up then they wouldn't have multiple karmics there would just be one person they slipped up with but it could be also for some of you that your person was the victim of witchcraft as well so we're going to see with the what's brewing cards what the deal is with your person now i know it's going to be some that say oh i'm completely done then the part of the reading um that's you know some of you want to get back with your person and that might be the new love because your this person that you from your past is coming back it's up to you whether you want to choose them or not um i don't tell people to go with someone or not go with someone but there is new love coming in okay and so you will have a choice you would make that choice based on your discernment if you definitely don't want to get with the person, then that part of the reading is not for you. Okay, so you would let that fly. All right. But there's new love coming in for you. Just be open to it because spirit says it is safe to love. And be open to you can be open to the new love. Just follow the spirit of the most high. So your person that was dealing with the multiple kar karmics was keeping a secret from you and that was the secret of the karmics your person needs to check themselves because if this person is dealing heavily in witchcraft that they're dealing with nine times out of ten they're doing it on them too they just don't realize it your person can be very insecure and that's what led them to having the multiple karmics to feel like they're the man or the woman or to feel pretty or to feel whole but as soon as they finish with that karmic they feel dirty okay so it's a momentary satisfaction the karmic themselves feel insecure because they know that your person um, has feelings for you and they know that they're not the one that's why they're doing all of the dirty magic okay anything else spirit okay says watching stuff go down enjoying the gossip so this karmic and maybe even your person is watching things happen to you for some of you your person is doing the magic with the karmic or karmics sometimes things can be a setup you think that this person is sweet because again it started out as a sweet relationship but it quickly turned because it was a spiritual attack because you were on your way to your blessing you were on your way wow to something special um in god and walking in your purpose and said so you have coming after you and i see this in two ways you have someone on a horse okay and they're rushing in to you one of these people are the new love and one of these people is the old love the old love enjoyed your energy your spirituality they may have drained you energetically every time they were around you could have been energetic and they came around and when they left you felt so drained or you felt drained by the time they left or an hour, you know, by the time they were getting ready to leave or an hour or so with them being there with you. You could have had nightmares and different things happening, different things going awry because they were sucking from you. You 
you could have had heated arguments. You could have been happy. And then this person comes and all of a sudden they see you happy and they start an argument with you or they'll be mean and nasty to you. And now your happiness is like down the tubes. Okay. This karmic is fighting for what they love. Claiming what's theirs. It says love is a battlefield because the karmic, for some of you, actually do feel like they love your person. Okay. Some of them have a family because they have multiple people. So they might be married. They might have baby mom. They might have multiple baby moms and they're running back and forth. This person got caught up in a sexual scandal. You may have found evidence. Caught them cheating. This situation for your person is all about the sex. That's why they have the multiple people going from person to person. Again, to make themselves feel better. For some of them, they may have a sexual addiction. But again, they have the black magic going on with the karmic. And that tends to bounce back. So the karmic that is doing the witchcraft was doing it to get rid of you, thinking that you were the only person that was between you and them. And come to find out your person has multiple. So it didn't work out the way they did. This person could have met someone at the gym. Your person. While they were working out. Maybe when they were on a jog. All right, spirit. Someone has been recording conversations and things of your person. So it says announcement, expressing, revealing. This person also could be revealing, come back, coming back to reveal to you that they were under spiritual attack, that they had been under the influence of witchcraft and everything like that. And that's why they were where they were, why they um, were caught up in uh, having a lot of sex. This is a lot of cards, spirit. All right, I'm going to take it. All right, because and then they found out that this person was their worst nightmare. The person that's fighting for what they love. And I, I don't even think that they love your person. They love what they're getting from your person, be it sex, be it money, be it drugs, be it the whole party lifestyle. But your person is tired of the drama. That's why they're coming back after you because you didn't have the drama for some of you they know that you were born to shine so for some of you the person that's coming back the old person is coming back because you're about to come up and they want something from it for some of them they just know they've been spiritually enlightened they got free of the black magic and because they got free of the black magic they're coming after you because you are their shining star and i hear that song you of my shining star. Wow. So for some of you, this person knows, and that's why they want to set the record straight. They want to tell you what was going on. Because they made a promise to you, and they want to keep that promise. So they know they want to start a new beginning with you. They want to put this behind and start a new beginning with you. Okay. Somebody might be watching you, watching you on social media. I know it says sports, but the, the TV there, um, somebody has been watching you and watching you closely. I believe that is even the karmic that's watching you. Okay. Anything else, spirit? All right. But some of you, this is a love story. Ooh, for some of you, this person is going to come and tell you a story. And that's all it is, is a story. All right. 
But some of you, you've been writing it out and waiting for that person. But some of you, again, I told you, fake apology. Somebody may be given a fake apology because they miss your energy. You're going to the next level financially, spiritually, and they want that. Betrayal, deceit, backstab, traitor, not to be trusted. So this person... For some of you, is not to be trusted. And they're going to give a fake apology. So use your discernment on what you should do. Okay? For some of you, this person betrayed you in the past with the multiple karmics. And they're getting free and delivered. Some of you, this person is not delivered. And that's the new person that's coming in. So take out the trash. Get rid of the garbage. All right? Align yourself with God. For some of you, this is a, a baby mama or baby daddy, or they could have children. But it says here, focus on your children. So you might want to focus on them right now. So it says needing to stay safe protection. You are protected by the most high God. And the heavenly angels that are assigned to you. Okay. So. For some of you. Your person thought that they were getting sugar. And they ended up with salt. Looks can be deceiving. Because salt and sugar. Look the same. They're crystallized the same. So if you put this in your coffee. And it's salt. You're going to have a horrible tasting drink. And this was what the person did. They thought what they had was sugar and it was salt it left a bad taste in their mouth this person was a hater a hater of you a hater of your person so your person is running away from the drama you already know the tea though Your person end up getting played. They thought they had something great and ended up getting played. Wow. Um, that's a lot of cards. I'm taking that back. I think the karmic is really trying to get into this reading. Because your person made bad choices. Bad choices. And the karmic is making bad choices because that, that magic is going to bounce back. You're, the karmic in this situation was a copycat. They were trying to be you and have the energy that you had. Okay. This was a private relationship. Okay. It was based in sex. This is a sex tantric. Okay, so we have that, but your person, the karmic that your person is with is very envious of you. And they have gotten kicked to the curb or may be getting kicked to the curb soon and they know it. That's probably why all those cars came flying out. Okay, you have been busy lately working on your life, working on your spiritual life, working on your business. The spirit is saying caution because you have haters. You have envious people. For some of you, the person you were with is envious and they're trying to get back with you, but they're being deceptive because it's what they want to get. Okay. Your person was fulfilling a sexual fantasy. Okay. They were getting hotel rooms, motel rooms. But right now, your person is falling apart because they were stuck in outdated thinking, expired, disguised, old news, discarded. And what I got in the spirit is the relationship is outdated, expired, old news for some of you. All right, so 
this relationship that you had with this person was toxic. What they have with this karmic is toxic. The whole situation is toxic for those that this is for. And someone has been investigating, stalking you, looking. It could be your um, old person looking for a way to get in. You could be um, popular in business, um, have an active social media account, growing on social media, growing your audience, and your person has fake profiles looking at it, or the karmic does. So be very careful. Use caution. Use your discernment in this on the bottom of the deck it says burning evidence okay so there's been something going on with your karmic and with the karmic and your person and i said your karmic because actually the one that's being deceitful is your karmic you were meant to learn a lesson and leave okay so so for some of you you're not meant to go back the situation is about to explode between your karmic, the karmic and your person or your karmic and yourself. You see that wildfire? And it looks like, no, that's just fire. But to me, it looked like lava down here, but that's just fire. The situation is about to explode. You might find that your person got sick from all of that, um, all of the karmics. All right. This may have left you destroyed and shattered and broken or your person could be destroyed, shattered and broken when they found out that the karmic um, didn't want them on anymore. Well, the karmic could have been shattered, devastated and broken when he found out your person didn't want them anymore. But for many of you, it's game over. You don't want this back. OK. And for some of you, it's just game over with the karmic. Leaving the karmic in their feelings. Again, we have sexual protection. So, again, there was a lot of sex going on. Okay. You could have been married to this person or been in a commitment with this person and it caused it to break or you felt like you were committed. This karmic was putting on a show for your person. They were a copycat. They were pretending to be something that they weren't. And your person found out or the karmic, the one that's coming back, that's going to be deceitful, was putting on a show for you and is coming back to put on another show. But many of you don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear that. OK, the karmic has been bugging your person. Bugaboo has been bugging your person and your person has been dealing with anger management as well as the karmic. They're very angry. They've been arguing a lot. It may have been surrounding drugs. So you may have to defend yourself in this situation. Okay. You may have to defend yourself when it comes to um, your, the karmic that you were dealing with. Um, and when I say karmic, it's just that that person was not meant for you. Yes, you were dealing with them and you were meant to learn the lesson, maybe about self-love or what true love is supposed to be or just what you shouldn't take in a relationship, setting up boundaries, the karmic in the situation where your person was seeing a karmic or many karmics is very spoiled and was used to getting what they wanted. OK, but some of you have a crush coming. A new love that is safe to love. OK, and you have been attracting this. All right. All right. Yeah, somebody was money hungry. But the karmic for some of you is about to be put in their place. The cops may be called because the situation is about to explode. I'm feeling that that's between your per for some of you, your person and their karmic. All right. But somebody was being promiscuous in the situation. That's your person. Your, pers your person had fake friends, or you could have had fake friends. One of the karmics could actually be one of your fake friends, okay? All right, so 
somebody could be pregnant, unsure, scared that they're pregnant, and have positive results, or someone may have uh, taken a test and faked the test and it was actually negative to keep your person. Your person know they screwed up because they somewhere where they don't want to be. Okay. Wow, we're at 30 minutes already. I did not know that this was going to go that far. And we're going to get some hidden truth on this to see how your person is actually feeling about you. And then we're going to wrap this up. I want to feel that way again. You speak to me through music. You and I were too young. I can't stop thinking about you. Okay. So one thing that I'm getting here is honestly, I'm not getting any twin flame or soulmate vibes here. Didn't come out in the deck. Didn't come out in the karmic deck because that can come out in there. Um, didn't come out in the love angels deck. So the person in the past may just be a karmic for you, but I'm not getting that they were so made, not saying that they're not, they could be, but that's not what's coming out here. It says, I want to feel that way again. I think this is the person that wants to sap your energy. They want to feel that energy again. You speak to me through music because you have a soul tie to them so they can hear a song and think about you. It says you and I were too young. I don't think you were necessarily too young. I think this is code for immature energy. I get that this person is not taking accountability or responsibility for their actions. So they don't want to take the full blame. So they say, well, both of us, we, we both we're too young for this. We both were immature when the whole time this person was the one immature going from person to person, fulfilling fantasies, only thinking of themselves. And they're saying they can't think about you maybe because karma hit them and every karmic they had um, dumped them or they found out about the black magic that was being done on them as well as being done on you. I think they were more concerned about it being done on them. And because you are a spiritual person, they want to come and hide up under you. Since I know I crossed the line with you. You came closer than anyone. Again, I'm not getting... An apology. It just says they know they crossed the line with you. They Somebody can know they crossed the line with you and still not be sorry. I feel you leaving me behind. That can be why they see you growing in the natural and getting your blessings. And they don't want to be left out. Or they want what you have. I want to tell you how I feel. I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. That's funny that came right out in that order to... I can't stop thinking about you.
I hope you can forgive me one day. I left you before you could leave me. All right. And at the bottom of the deck, I wish things could be different. So the person does wish things could be different. They wish that you were still in their life because of what you can get. Because again, this is very selfish energy here. Nowhere in here does it say, I love you. So I don't see any love from this person that was dealing with the multiple karmics. I don't see any, I apologize, no accountability for their actions. I feel like the person that's coming in deceitful is going to say what they think you want to hear to get you back. Because they feel you leaving them the behind and they want to feel the way you used to make them feel. They want to come back and sap your energy. So now they're going to come with a with the fake apology if they even come with an apology. I don't feel like they're going to apologize at all. I think it's just going to come because even in the other cards it said there was a story to tell. That they're going to come and tell you a story. They're going to say they grew spiritually and they got a spiritual lesson for... And it, just, it doesn't even say I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson I learned from you. It just says I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson... It could, this could be, they could say this to you and you feel like they're talking about you, but they're actually talking about the karmic and the black magic and all of that stuff. It says, I can't stop thinking about you. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. So they're up at night thinking about you because they can't sleep. They probably thinking about how they did you wrong and they're getting that karma. And, but then they're still thinking about the energy they got from you, the love they got from you, the money they got from you. Maybe even the sex, because there's a whole lot of sex going on with your person. They said, I know I crossed the line with you, and this lines up perfectly. That's one's like, okay, I can't make this up. I, I know I crossed the line with you. I hope you can forgive me one day. When someone says, I hope you can forgive me, they want you to forgive without taking accountability and actually giving that apology. Because if they say, I hope you can forgive me one day, ask them for what? What do you want me to forgive you for? Because they're taking what you have in your mind and you're going to think, oh, they want me to forgive them for X or for treating me bad, this, this, this. That's what's in your mind. So they're trying to take what's in your mind and have you forgive them of something that you have in your mind and assumptions that you have in your mind about what the situation is. Nowhere near as I apologize for disrespecting you. I apologize for making you feel this way. I apologize for leaving you out in the cold. I apologize for going after someone else other than you and I knew that you was the one. I apologize for cheating on you. Says you came closer than anyone. Came closer to what? Again, no one, nowhere in here is I love you. And then it says I left you before you could leave me. So they may have felt that you were going to leave. leave. Maybe they felt that you were you were um, going to find out about the karmic or found out about the karmic. But honestly, I just think that that's just a line that they're saying. Okay. I wish this was, well, I can't even say that because this started out being a karmic versus your person's energy reading so let's see
Let's get... Trying to see if I'm going to end there. Let's get some angel messages for you. Just to give you a little more clarity on where to go. I didn't want to leave the message like that. Okay. Right. Heavenly angels of the most high God. Give us clear messages for my community. And something just flipped over. Where is it? I really can't find that card that flipped over. Okay. Well... On the bottom of the deck, it says the situation will improve. And I believe that because you, there it is. Because a new love is coming and it's going to lead to marriage for some of you. Wow. Let's get one more message. Really? Spirit, let's see. I'm gonna take that. Wow. Okay. Spirit says get more information because for some of you, this karmic is coming back. And again, he said all or she said all of those beautiful words. But again, none of it was I love you. Get more information before you make a decision, okay? For the old person that's coming back. But Spirit is saying there's something better. There is success if you believe. Now, I just want to see if there's anything else from the angels. Okay, that just came out. Okay, a couple of them. All right, so what I'm getting from this is this came out next. Yes. So, yes, there's something better if you believe. Unlikely, I feel like it's for the get more information for your purpose, for, for, for your person coming back for two reasons. It's unlikely that you're going to get back together or that they have changed. So that's why Spirit is saying get more information. It's unlikely if you take them back that it's going to end up being good for you. Okay? It's unlikely. Okay? However... There's something better coming in spirit. Say, yes, there is. Yes, there's success. Yes, there's something better coming if you believe and you are ready. You have been through a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. 
And so you are ready for success. You're ready for that something better if you just believe in the most high and what he has for you. Okay. Can we get one more? Because you know I like it even, Spirit. You know I do. Holy Spirit. Heavenly angels. And for a lot of you, it's saying in the next few months. You see the angels. These are all angels up here. Angels, angels, angels. Just waiting to take you to what's prom has been promised to you. If you believe within the next few months, it will happen. On the bottom of the deck, and this kept coming up in the bottom of the deck. I kept looking and it says, ask for help from others. Don't be afraid to ask for help for, uh, from others. Okay. Because abundance is coming. Success, abundance. Ask your angels for guidance. Communicate clearly with them. Okay? And they're going to send you clear communication. Listen to what your angels and the Holy Spirit are speaking to your spirit. Because they have clear messages for you. They're sending you new love. It's happening very soon. The new love the thing about it is you're getting blessed from all the things that you went through. Okay. Very soon, you're going to get new love. You're going to have a blessing in your finances. The one that you are supposed to be with, you're going to start a relationship with them and it's going to lead to marriage. Okay. Success is coming. It's getting better. If you believe, you have to believe it, community. Sometimes we go through things and it's so hard and harsh that it's hard to believe that things are going to get better. But it, it gets better. Okay? That is my message for you. Thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Become a member and you will get exclusive videos. You will get exclusive content. I will be going live um, probably on the weekends. And um, so you have the opportunity to come in and alive. If you hit the bell icon, you will get notification when I'm live and you'll be able to um, come on the line and do a live chat with me. Um, and, and I will, I do communicate back live and I do again, appreciate you coming and watching the messages and I pray that the messages resonate with you and help you to go on to your life purpose. All right. Thank you so much again. This is Intuitive Empress signing off and good night.